All right, so it's time to paint the outside of our schoolie. Painting our schoolie is my biggest fear. One time years ago, I tried to paint rims on my motorcycle, and they basically pretty much immediately start the paint start flaking off. So I'm really worried. Um, I am doing more research now this time. I know it's all about the prep, so it just needs to be sanded down well so you don't have the shiny on the um, on the surface of the paint and then you can prime and paint it over it or some people straight up paint over the existing paint I'm gonna prime it first so that's what I'm gonna do and I hope it's gonna end up looking good we'll see time has come to sand the bus before painting um, and I'm breaking this job up into several different steps first thing I'm doing is uh, I'm doing the big parts so anything I can get with the random orbit sander the big surfaces I'm doing that first and then I'll get into the details around the rivets and all that and I'm using a random orbital orbit sander with a hand, 120 grit sandpaper of course, I'm gonna wear a mask and goggles for this. So, you know, you gotta protect yourself. You don't wanna inhale this. reflective tape was um, that I removed and I'm ha I'm gonna I recorded that and I'll post that separately um, now I'm not because it has a little bit of that adhesive where the tape was I'm not removing that with goo gone or anything I'm leaving that on and I'm just using the sandpaper to remove it and the goal is to get it to be not shiny to be to get it to get it to be dull color uh, so the paint can stick to it or the primer I'm gonna put a primer first and then paint and when I'm done with the big stuff using the um, uh, random orbit center I'm using now the oscillating tool and I have 120 grit sandpaper on this triangle uh, adapter for the tool and then I get into all the small areas where I couldn't get in uh, with the uh, sander the scotch bright pad this one is the maroon color different colors have different grit basically so you can use that also to get into all the other parts you can reach with the other sanders <clears throat> and again you're just trying to rough it up so it's not shiny so paint can adhere to it Now I'm removing these reflectors and all the tail lights, brake lights, everything else, turn signals, um, everything that would get in the way. You could have done this at the beginning before you started sanding, I'm just doing it now so I can sand that area and I'm going to paint everything and then I'm going to put everything back. I want to show you what I've done when it comes to sanding, um, sanded it all around 120 grit sandpaper as I, as I mentioned um, and then also the uh, scotch bright pad um, and I even took out these latches over here and sanded over there 
Um, I sand it around here. Um, try to take everything off. There's another latch I need to sand that down. Here I can't take this lock off. Uh, it's it's uh, rusted on the inside, so I might cut it out. There's turn signals here, latches over here. Take all that out. I even took out that sign here, international sign. A little logo, emblem or whatever. Um, these latches light there. You could take the um, turn sig uh, the um, wipers, windshield wipers, but it's like a whole complex thing here. I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna tape it all off around there. Uh, I gotta take the uh, rear view mirrors, um, but I need them so I can back out of here and park it where the paint job is gonna be um, down the driveway. Um, I gotta sand. I did some body filler. I forgot to sand it there. Um, I'll do that. So over here as well. Took out these latches, and so the paint is there, and I can re-add them back. Do it nicely. Uh, all those reflectors I took out. There was a reflector right here. Took all that out. There is there is a door stop over here, and then another door latch hook thingy. Um, so I took that out. This is gonna be a storage, I'm gonna have a storage box there, so that's gonna be all cut out really, but I just removed this bottom rub rail um, because the storage box, this box is only coming up to here and I needed this to, to paint it. Um, yeah, I covered up these these lights over here in the back, the holes with, with some um, tape here temporarily because of the rain if it rains but it shouldn't be raining in the next few days while I'm painting up there all those uh, lights that are turned into turn signals and brake lights tail lights I removed that and sanded all that around some somewhere I had to get down to metal um, and there's a body filler work I need to finish here uh, but I'm gonna prime everything so um, then you know and then paint it and over here that was a, a, a rubber kind of seal thingy that goes around. I remove that so I can paint there and then I'll put it back. I might even remove also this rubber gasket here this for the door so it can be painted over here you see and then I can put that back. So yeah lots of sanding lots of sanding but I think I'm done so we'll see how it goes. I also removed the covers for these lights up front and I sanded it a little bit around so I'm gonna paint in there as well. I'll mask the actual lights. Now it's time to pressure wash the bus. I'm gonna be using first the scrud cutter vehicle and boat pressure washer concentrate. Uh, this pressure washer, you can just put this tube in the bottle and it will suck this, the soap in and mix it with water and soap the bus. Um, I'm, but before I do that, I'm going to wet the ground all around the bus uh, so the dust doesn't get picked up and, you know, get back on the bus. It'll help out with that. This is the tube from the compressor that I'm going to put in, it's supposed to be sucking in the soap. Of course if you don't have this, um, not compressor, this is pressure washer. If you don't have a pressure washer, you can just use a bucket with soapy water and the sponges, you know. But I want to see if this will work. Now that I finished soaping the bus, um, I'm switching to uh, no soap and uh, I'm putting a 25 degree nozzle uh, and I'm going to really start from the top down, really getting close into it to wash uh, any, any dirt or any little specks of stuff 
um, that might be sticking still on the on the bus. So I decided now to add some Sikaflex 221 on the seams from the out, on the outside and on some of, more of the more critical seams like these vertical ones so the water doesn't get in and I, I see this one is missing. Um, I, did, I did it before right here but I stopped up to here. So I need to redo this, uh, do this one. And I cut the tip really small. I gotta add some more over here. It's a big gap. Sikaflex 2 to 1 is paintable. So once I put a primer and paint on it, it'll get covered. It's time to uh, mask the bus and I bought some yellow fine line tape. I'll post the link in the description. Um, I got a roll of this paper, masking paper, whatever. I also have this 3 mil plastic sheeting if I run out of the paper. Um, and I was thinking for the windows since I have a bunch of them, right? And only two of them are dif uh, different size and the, and the third one is the driver window so all these other windows are the same size so I think it would be quicker for me to make a template that I can then use to cut out this paper and I made a template out of the uh, just a thin plywood that I had here's how I'm doing it I line up the edges all right get my utility knife Done. Now I come up here to the window and uh, try to line it all up so it's evenly distanced from all sides. It's about this. I get a little piece first just to uh, stick it on to hold it. I should probably add little pieces in all four corners first. Yeah, this way you can stretch it out before you apply the long pieces. That's better. Something like that. Okay, now we can go and do the bigger pieces. Let's see if I can do this vertical one. So I need to go a little bit overlapping on the sealant. A little bit there. In the corner. Here it is. That's pretty good, huh? Not bad, I think. We'll see how it turns out. So I had to add another piece of tape where the bottom piece of the window meets the the top piece of the window meets the bottom piece because the bottom piece is more indented, more in, inward. So there is a big gap there and a step so the tape wasn't grabbing onto the paper well and so I had to add another one like this because there was a hole there basically. For this window here on the emergency door, side emergency door, I'm going to double tape it. So I will first just use the tape all around, get it nicely taped off and then I'll add the paper and tape the paper on.
trying to be as close to the edge as possible. This is going to be interesting here on the corner. That's pretty good. This part is done, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another layer of tape here. So when I'm putting paper, I just have to put paper on a flat piece of surface on the glass instead of trying to tape it to this curvature here to this uneven surface. There we go, it's done. So now it'll be easier to put the rectangle piece of paper there. I got a rectangle piece of the paper and I just taped it with four little pieces and four corners to stretch it out and I'm, now I'm gonna use the long tape. There we go. Now it is done. Now I'm going to take the latch holes. Alright, now I'm doing these headlights and turn signal. And I'm wrapping the turn signal bulb around this paper because I don't want the tape directly on the bulb. I don't know if it's going to do something bad to it or it gets sticky on it. Okay, that's how it looks like. Now I'm covering this hole for the, uh, the another turn signal. You can use the tape if you want, but I'm just gonna use a piece of paper. I'm gonna save a little bit on the tape. Okay, I'm gonna do the windshield wiper now. You can remove the windshield wiper, but it's just like a whole motor behind, a whole mechanism. I didn't wanna mess with that. I removed most of the other things, but I'm not gonna remove that. Just do it around. There we go. Okay, so now I wanna mask the top of the bus. This is where the original paint was coming to, but I'm gonna push it up seven inches. So I made a template this is from a cardboard box uh, from pull-ups, my son's pull-ups. So I measured seven inches, cut it out, and I just get a, a Sharpie. And basically every foot or so, I I put it on the edge where, where it was ending. And then just up here, every foot or so. Now that I've marked the lines, I can come around here with the masking tape. It's a little bit scary. Okay. What I'm doing here is I unrolled that, this roll of, pa of paper and I'm cutting it down the middle. And I'm gonna put that on the roof, one on each side. Um, to protect the the top of the roof from a primer because I'm putting a different paint on there one of those roof paints I'm rolling it back there we go. 
and then on the opposite side here in few spots I'm just gonna add tape here and there just to hold it I added two more pieces one in the front one in the back going across let me show you what I've done here to protect the radiator so I got a long piece of uh, paper and I put it right in front of the radiator in front all the way down here even here and all the way comes down all the way up down here so I was able to just squeeze it in and pull it from uh, below uh, so that will protect everything and over here I just had to add some tape on the sides a little bit the paper wasn't wide enough uh, but that's looking good and we got this over here this windshield done windshield wipers okay got the tires on the battery over here I also covered it up I don't care about this piece from the AC heater whatever that's already disconnected so I'm gonna dump that so I'm I didn't cover that because I'm gonna paint it over I technically should have put a, she a sheet of um, um, metal sh sheet metal cover this up and rivet but I don't have a big enough piece so I might just put two smaller pieces on the side on the ground and I will prime them and paint them and then later on I can just add them on because here I'm gonna only have should only have like I think I might even replace this with a storage box that I'm gonna put the propane tank in. I have to find a big enough storage box, you know, underbody storage, toolbox, whatever. Um, so I'm just gonna paint it like this, and then I'm gonna figure that out later. I have to I have to paint the bus on from the inside. I taped um, a tape or paper. Over here I put some, but I also have from the inside. I gotta take this off because it's overlapping a little bit. I don't want it. Okay, so that's taped from the inside. Same thing above. Exhaust also taped. Um, let's see over here. We got that window. And then I have to cover up this tire. And I got windows here and this door and a little window on the side so over here where the fuel tank is and I just covered that up I didn't cover this up because I don't care about this that's an emergency door operation so that's not even working and I'm gonna take all that out and make some extra storage there but yeah I think and at the top as well um, I already show that now what I'm doing is I'm wiping down the um, the bus to clean it final cleaning um, most people use acetone and I would have used that but I already had a jug of isopropyl alcohol 70% so I just want to use that instead of the acetone but you can use acetone gotta wipe it down get all the dust and stuff off that accumulated after the pressure washing I can definitely see dust on it but I don't know how much I can you know keep away because you know I'm outside I'm in the surrounded by trees and stuff so bugs and stuff so it's just gonna keep coming but you know do your best I guess I don't have a paint booth wait by the way I'm using microfiber cloth <laughs> 